What's up, Pizza Holics? As I'm in Titusville, New Jersey, folks. Titusville. New Jersey boonies, baby, at a place called It's Nuts. It's a cute little, uh, looks like a truck stop off the side of a major road. It's nuts, guys. It's nuts. Let's go see if this pizza is nuts. Let's go eat, folks. All right, guys, here we go. You ready? I got the whole pie, a large pie, 17 inches. Trenton style. Trenton style pizza spread over into these smaller cities from Trenton, obviously, but also due to this popular train station, old train station, now a restaurant. The train station here in a nearby city of Lambertville was the way station for travelers traveling between New York City and Philadelphia train station over at Lambertville is probably one of the reasons why pizza culture spread into this area. Tomato pie, folks. Now, this is the modern version of the tomato pie, which, of course, does include the mozzarella. Traditionally, tomato pie means sauce only. Maybe a little dusting of grated cheese. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Maybe a little pale. I would have liked it a little more charred. It's also cut in the traditional way in the traditional Trenton style way guys if you guys are familiar with Trenton style pizza most notably Di Lorenzo's probably the most famous Trenton style pizza they cut it just like this they cut it just like this and, and I mean this puts New Haven to, to shame I think New Haven style pizza looks like some drunk person cut it you haven't seen a Trenton style pizza guys you have not seen a Trenton style pizza they cut it in this quirky fashion uh, like like rectangular shapes every so often you'll get a triangle every so often you'll get a triangle but for the most part rectangular shape so let's grab one guys seems very light nice and thin is it foldable no it's not but I'm from New York so I'm gonna fold it I'm a little uh, underwhelmed by the undercarriage here guys mm. the sauce is a little tart I love when that sauce is chunky and runny and it's pretty fresh, a little tart, but it's definitely on the savory side. The sauce isn't too sweet. Nice savory tomato flavor. All right, guys, what do you say we move on into the lab and get a closer look? So. What do we got here, guys? What do we have? I'll tell you what we have. We have a pretty damn good pizza. Is it on par with uh, some of the best Trenton-style pizzas I've ever had? Akin to uh, Di Lorenzo's or, or the other one there, the, the one I gave an 8-9. I forgot the name of it. Uh, Papa's. Papa's Tomato Pies. This is similar to Di Lorenzo's and uh, many modern tomato-style pizzas. But just like most modern style Trenton pizzas, guys, the tomato is crushed. But traditionally, the tomatoes are crushed on top of the cheese. It's an upside down pie. The Trenton style pizza, the tomatoes are crushed and put on top of the cheese. And uh, I wouldn't consider this a sauce, guys. This is crushed tomato. Look at the seeds. It's just crushed tomato on top of the pizza. That's it. Look at that piece of tomato skin right there. You see that piece of tomato skin? It's a pretty vibrant tomato. Very ripe, vibrant tomatoes, good savory notes. Slightly tart, a little sour. Now the cheese to sauce ratio is pretty good, but the cheese to sauce to crust thickness ratio is a little bit off. Even though the crust is thin, I think this pizza could handle a little more sauce and cheese. I think it's under topped with sauce and cheese. Take a look at the Di Lorenzo's pie. Very similar in appearance as in the way it's cut, the way the tomatoes are crushed on it. However, there's an abundance of toppings on this pizza, cheese and tomato. There's a substantial amount of mozzarella on it as well. I think the Di Lorenzo's pie got it right. A much more heartier pizza in my opinion. 
but uh, look how thin this pizza is, guys. It's not a pliable crust, which kind of irked me. The crust isn't pliable. It's very thin, and uh, I'd, I'd go as far as calling it cracker-like. On the carriage, extremely pale. So pale that we're going to move this baby down the scale. Unfortunately, I have to take away some points for that, guys. Very pale. Uh, order it well done. I recommend ordering it well done to avoid this, guys. Again, we're going to pick up every slice just to make sure that, uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty pale. I'd say, uh, for the most part, the entire pie, it's unfortunate because uh, I really like the freshness of the tomato and the cheese, as you can see by the color, guys. Very good quality, low moisture mozzarella. For the most part, the cheese to sauce ratio is very good. You're going to get tomato from the front to the back. It does dry out a little bit towards the back, maybe a little more tomato. And even though the cheese to sauce ratio is balanced, that doesn't mean that there's enough cheese and sauce present on the pizza. Unlike Di Lorenzo's, which I loved, the pizza looks similar, but the tomatoes are not as chunky as Di Lorenzo's and the crust is not as good in my opinion. Whoa, we got a B. We got a, we got a yellow jacket on my pizza. All right, guys, it's about that time. The pizza gets cold. We give it another fold. It's going to be hard to fold pizza like this. You know what? I'll grab the triangle. I'll grab the triangle so I can fold it. Guys, you could hear that crackling. I mean, this is a very crispy pizza. It reminds me of the new Lombardi's out in Manhattan. The new crust over in Lom at Lombardi's. Very crunchy. It lacks that soft airy center i don't mind a good exterior crunch but when the entire uh when the entire crust is reminiscent of a uh a thick matzo bread i mean look at this guys it's it's just too it just reminds me of a flat breadstick and it, the taste of the crust isn't the greatest as well no char uh crispy but taste wise Guys, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to go with the 7-1 because I love the cheese. I love... It was crispy. It's just... It's not the type of crust I prefer. Uh, it's a personal preference, guys. You might like it better than I did. The crunch was there. The tomatoes were fresh. Just the way I like it. Runny. Chunky. If the crust was better, this thing could have been in the 8s. But 7-1, guys. They make everything here pizza ice cream fried chicken it's a cute little place just down the street from lambertville which is a popular spot here in new jersey uh, if you want to change your pace you want to take your family out and have pizza chicken and ice cream for dessert this is the spot they sell everything it's a nice old place the guy said it's been here for almost uh, over over 50 years or so it started out as an ice cream shop come on down guys titusville new jersey it's one of those places you make a day out of it. They got some nice patio seats there. You can hang out with your dogs. Everyone's bringing their dogs, their kids. You got the river just off the street there. There's some nice areas down the street that offer some beautiful, spectacular views of the river. The trees are starting to change. That's why I came here today. I said I was going to go to Manhattan. And I said I took a look at the trees and the colors. I said I'm going here the way so uh i got some more stops to make guys i'm gonna head over to pennsylvania do some stuff out there and maybe go live and uh i hope you guys enjoyed this one so smash that like if you can it would help me out hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can watch my videos as soon as they drop until next time keep those bellies full folks this is antonio signing off